December 16th, 2018. The my first time steelhead fishing this winter. Here on the American River. Uh, this little owner marabou jig. Eight pound test. It's gonna first let's test to see how uh, deep the water is. It's running really well right there. Make it a little deeper. Deepen this up a little bit. See how that does. Looks like it's ticking bottom a little bit better. Let's go ahead and fish that. Another gentleman down there at the salmon spot. Probably drift this down to him a couple times and if I don't get bit, I'm gonna make my way that way. The old. Handy dandy row bag is tied up last night. Yeah, it's about three o'clock in the morning getting all this stuff ready. Ugh. It's all right. You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta risk it. Just gonna do a little inside drift, first drift. You'd think there'd at least be a couple trout sitting right here. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Next time I'm bringing the spinning set up. Ridiculous. Ooh, <laughs> check that guy out. Nice. Big old spawned out male Chinook. I'm surprised I haven't seen one of those to be honest with you. It's October. It should be all over the place. I guess this really is the first spot with some slack current. Look at all the trash, man. Look at all that trash. Fish right here for a couple casts, maybe like 10 casts. Oh look, check it out. It's another Chinook. Dang. Hate to see the carcasses sitting here and all this garbage, man. Just disgusting. Okay, okay, okay. So, spoiler alert. The fishing sucked today. I did not even get a bite. But, I did get to film this sea lion swimming up the American River. 
And I'm sure most people don't even realize that sea lions come into freshwater this far, but any fisherman around here has definitely had an encounter with one. I'd go as far as to say they're common, especially around this time of year when there's salmon in the river, which causes a really big issue because these sea lions, they're targeting these salmon while they're spawning and they completely disrupt the whole process when they're present at these times. Sea lions are protected under the Marine Mammal Protection Act, so it's not like we can just go out there and shoot them. And I've heard stories of these efforts to tranquilize them and bring them back to the bay and hope that they just stay down there. But time and time again, apparently they make their way back up the American River or wherever they were captured from. And I guess sometimes they bring friends. Um, you know, I, I also have heard that in Oregon and Washington, they just passed legislature to allow them to shoot some specific individual sea lions in these exact same areas where they're protected and they're in there feeding on these animals. So who knows what the future has in store? I know today, <laughs> this was the end of my fishing trip when I saw that guy.